Well, right now, hundreds of students from all over the world are right here in the Rocket City. Yeah, they're taking part in NASA's Human Exploration Rover Challenge. News 19's Emily Moser joins us now live from the U.S. Space and Rocket Center. So, Emily, what's this competition involve and what is it teaching students? Well, this competition is all about working together as a team to design, develop, and test a human-powered rover. Now, the idea is to kind of build something like what astronauts would use to get around on the moon or Mars. Now, students from high school and college are participating in the challenge. The students must follow certain requirements. That includes building their own wheels from various materials, creating a way to pedal the rover, and ensuring it's small enough to fit in a transport box, simulating how it be, would be transported in a real national a mission. Now, once the students pass a safety inspection, they're ready to hit the course. It's full of obstacles designed to test the rover's capabilities. Now, more than 500 students are participating in the challenge. They make up 48 teams coming from all over the world. Now, I spoke to members of one team from the Dominican Republic who told me they were excited to be here participating and representing their country. In the Dominican Republic, there isn't much focus on STEM activities, and we want to change the perception of what success is in our country. It's not just be a musician or be a baseball player. You can also be a scientist, an engineer, an astronomer, and make it far and wide. Now, as you can imagine, fitting all of that equipment on a plane was not easy. They told me it took them four different planes to get here, so hats off to them for making that trip. Now, today is the first day of the competition, and it will run all day Saturday as well. Plus, it is free and open to the public. NASA encourages you to grab the family and come on out and support these students. Now, it's also the first year that the competition is back in person since 2019. Live in Huntsville tonight, Emily Moser, News 19.